Did you know that till today, there are tribes living in remote areas across the world that are still completely cut off from modern society? Many are extremely dangerous, and some just prefer isolation. Then of course, there is the interesting Mokin, the Mer people, as some like to call them, who live entirely off the sea. From the deadly Karumba to the enthralling Himba, check out some of the most isolated tribes in the world. Although, when a drone captured an uncontacted Amazon tribe, something unexpected happened. Number 10. The Kodawai People of Papua New Guinea The Kodawai tribe of Papua New Guinea was not discovered until 1974 and is regarded as one of the most violent tribes on the planet. Many people believe that the individuals who lived in this hamlet had no idea that other people were on earth. The tribe's people live in tree dwellings 140 feet above the ground to protect themselves from neighboring tribes who surround their secluded settlement. Despite having little touch with the outside world, many of these people believe that white people are possessed by devils. The tribe has been known to kill people on the spot in order to keep demonic powers out of their villages. The Kodawai are also said to be cannibalistic, and some specialists believe that cannibalism is still practiced in isolated cases every now and then. Number 9. The Surma or Suri, Ethiopia Beware of the Surma. This is one of the tribes found in Ethiopia that isn't just dangerous and hostile. They use guns too, agonizing rituals, dangerous stick fighting ceremonies, and painful lip plugs define the Suri or Surma tribes who live in the Benchmaji zone of the southern nations, nationalities, and people's regions in Ethiopia. They have somehow got their hands on automatic firearms obtained during the Sudanese civil war which they use to protect their livestock and villages, but they won't hesitate to use it on outsiders too. The Surma are exceptional stick fighters and stick fighting known as Seguin is almost a religion amongst the tribe often used as a rite of passage for young men to duel for women, with the loser occasionally being slain before the conflict is over. Initiation into adulthood for young men is a gory affair held approximately every 25 years where the men are so severely beaten that many end up succumbing to their injuries. Number 8. Moshko Puro Amazon The Peruvian Amazon is home to several isolated tribes the most famous being the Moscow Puro. Once thought to be among the last of these communities, also identified as the Cujarino, they can be extremely hostile to outsiders. However, in recent years, some of the tribe's estimated 600 to 800 members have begun to reach out to river travelers and appear at government checkpoints, seeking food or assistance. The Moshko Piro and other Amazonian indigenous tribes are increasingly threatened by illegal logging activities on their territories as well as often fatal conflicts with drug traffickers. By the way, don't ever utter the name Moshko Piro in front of these folks. Moshko means savage in the local dialect and is considered insulting. The preferred phrase is Nomole, which means kin or related. Number 7. Huli Wigman, Papua New Guinea The Huli Wigman are a proud tribe from the Huli area in Papua New Guinea's highlands, a proud people. The Huli believe they're derived from the Huli, a master farmer who provided them the abundant fertile land they enjoy today in the Huli territory. Unfortunately, the tribe don't take kindly to women and the Huli women are considered dangerous witches who suck away a Huli man's masculinity. This is why young Huli adolescent males are segregated from their moms and sisters and made to join the Haroli bachelor cult living in seclusion deep in the jungles of Papua New Guinea. After 18 years of ritually purifying themselves and their hair with oils and herbs, the Huli boys present themselves to the village with their full head of hair ready to become a holy wigman. Number 6. Nanets Siberia The Nanets, also known as the Samoyed, are a Samoyedic ethnic group native to northern Arctic Russia. This group of roughly 10,000 nomads is pretty tough. They transport over 300,000 reindeer on a 683 mile migration around an area one and a half times the size of France and temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. They're considered the guardians of the extensive reindeer herding, considered to be the last of its kind. The nets travel in trains up to 4.97 miles long on sledges anointed with freshly slain reindeer blood. The Nanets have faced colonial incursions, civil war, revolution, and forced collectivization. Today, their herding lifestyle is under threat once more, and to survive, they need unrestricted access to their pastures and an environment untouched by industrial waste. Number 5. Himba Namibia The Himba are semi-nomadic people who dwell in northwest Namibia and southern Angola. When they're immobile, they reside in teepee-shaped shelters made of mud and dung. In tribute to their god, Mukuru, they maintain an ancestral fire burning 24 hours a day. Cattle are used to assess wealth. 
but goat is a more common portion of their diet. The Hemba are famous for their crimson matted braids, which are meticulously produced by combining animal fat, ash, and crushed ochre, a local stone. This natural blend shields their skin from the elements, limiting body hair growth and keeping mosquitoes at bay. One of the most notable Hemba characteristics is that women are not permitted to use water for washing. Instead, they continue to smear the ochre paste on their bodies in order to stay clean. Today, the tribe has an estimated 50,000 individuals, and although they are continuously threatened by increasing development, they try their best to continue their traditional way of life. Number 4. The Awa Amazon The Amazon rainforest of Brazil is perhaps home to some of the greatest number of uncontacted tribes than anywhere in the world. According to the government's Indian Affairs Department, Funai, there are at least 100 isolated groups hiding in the rainforest. Because of disastrous encounters with industrial invasion and destruction of their forest home, the tribes prefer not to be in contact with the outside world. Among the tribes, the most famous is the Awa, perhaps the most threatened tribe on Earth. There are only around 350 members left today, and 100 of them have no contact with the outside world. The Awa speak a Guarani language called Guaja, a Tupi Guarani language. They originally lived in settlements, but soon adopted a nomadic lifestyle to escape European settlers in the 1800s. Number 3. The Sentinelese Andamans India The inhabitants of North Sentinel Island on the Bay of Bengal are often called the most isolated people in the world. But more than being isolated, they are the deadliest and most dangerous people too. No one really knows what they call themselves. Their language is unknown to outsiders, including the Andaman tribes on surrounding islands to which they're related. The Sentinelese are fiercely secretive and detest outsiders often responding violently to anyone trying to get too close. The Sentinelese population is estimated to be between 50 and 200 individuals, and they live a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, making canoes for fishing and crabbing and hunting small game with bows, arrows, and spears. Sentinel Island is completely off limits to outsiders, but in 2018, an American missionary tried visiting the island on an evangelical mission but never made it out alive. Number 2. The Mokin or the Sea Gypsies The Mokin or the Sea Gypsies are an Austronesian ethnic group with about 2,000 declining members whose entire existence is centered around living off the sea. Mokin children learn to swim before they can walk and have unique physical characteristics that enable them to dive deeper and longer than most humans. For about 4,000 years, the Mokin have been a stateless, native sea nomadic people in the waters off of Myanmar and Thailand. They are the very last individuals who still consider the ocean to be a suitable setting for a lifetime. The Mokin live only around 3 months on land and spend their whole lives aboard a houseboat called the Kabang, the endangered tribe of the last remaining maritime nomads on earth, and have been so since the Stone Age. Number 1. Drone Footage of the Dalala Karuba Amazon now, the first ever drone footage has emerged capturing some amazing video shots of one of the deadliest tribes of the Amazon, the Dalala Karuba. Like the Awa, the Dalala Karuba is another indigenous tribe of Brazil that numbers hardly more than 250 people. The Dalala Karuba can be found living in the lower Vale do Javari in the western Amazon basin and are some of the last people on earth isolated from modern society. They survive on hunting their own food and live inside large, communal huts known as malocas, which can be seen in the drone footage. In the video, one of the tribe members appears to be carrying a bow and arrow. The footage was released by the Brazilian government, where efforts to establish contact with the tribe in the past did not end very well. Several government employees lost their lives in the process. Very little is known of the tribe, and the government now feels the drone footage is the best way to confirm the existence of such tribes as well as the importance of protecting them. Don't you think that's the right thing to do, or should they be left alone? Tell us what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.